What's going on everyone, my name is Matt and this is the first video of Life of Five. So as you can see, I'm going to be your Monday, so I'm super excited and I hope you are as well. As it is the first week, this week is introduction week, so you can get to know a little bit more about me, Sean, Ali, Matt and Lewis. So I could just sit here and tell you facts about myself, but I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So today in this first video, I'm going to be doing the that type of person tag with the hopes that you get to know a little bit more about me. And if you're wondering why I'm in a weird place or why the lighting might be a bit off, it's because one of my family members that shall not be named, <laughs> my twin brother, broke my filming lights, so I'm having to do it right in front of the window, and it's really weird. Without further ado, let's begin. And if you want to ask these questions for yourself or tell me some facts about you, then leave your answers in the comments below because that'd be cool. <laughs> breakfast, lunch, or dinner? I'm definitely a breakfast person, I think. I have my lunch really late. I don't eat lunch at school anymore. I have it when I get home. For the past two or three years, I haven't had lunch at school because I was always so busy playing sport at lunch that I never had time to eat lunch, so I ended up eating it at home anyway. So now I've just got into the habit of not eating through the day and then having lunch after school, so that means that breakfast is really important to me, and it's usually a massive bowl of Cocoa Pops. Speaking of Cocoa Pops, the next question is, after you've eaten your bowl of cereal, do you drink the milk? Yes. Regardless of the cereal, I will drink it because if it's not Cocoa Pops, it'll be like Shreddies or Frosties and they're really sugary and I just like sugary milk. When you drive, do you listen to CDs, radio or phone? Well, I don't drive, but I don't listen to CDs or the radio. I do listen to Spotify a lot, so that's my answer. Are you a window person or an aisle person? Regardless of how long the flight is, I am definitely a window person because I just love the view outside the window. Although the one flight I did actually fall asleep on, which was my flight back from America, there was this apparently majestic thunderstorm that I missed right outside my window, which is uh, not cool. Fold or crumple? Fold. Shampoo then body wash or body wash then shampoo. Now I shampoo and conditioner So what I do if you really want to know is shampoo my hair rinse it out put conditioner in my hair Leave it in there because you're supposed to leave it in there for a little while body wash and then rinse the conditioner out So it's quite a rigorous process. Are you typically stressed or relaxed? Typically I'm quite relaxed, but something can set me off and I'll be super stressed I go from 0 to 100 in about 0.4 seconds patient or impatient that is definitely both It really depends on the situation if I've got a deadline to me and something out of my control is stopping me from meeting it, for instance, an editing failure, I will be so impatient with it and I'll get pretty angry. But for other things, I'm quite patient, so both. Do you like to have a schedule or are you go with the flow? I definitely like to have a schedule. I like doing things in a routine because it's just easier that way and it can get your body into good habits and things like that. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? <laughs> I wanted to be an ice cream man. Why? So I can eat all the ice cream. <laughs> I think as I got older, I wanted to be a primary school teacher because I really like working with kids and I'm quite intelligent, so that could be quite good for me. I might still want to do that. I'm not really sure. A YouTuber would be good, but hey, probably not. Prankster or not? Do you have a minute? A minute? Yeah, just a minute or two to talk. Pardon? She told me and said that she was pregnant. And I can't... I can't... <laughs> I'm pranking you. <laughs> I like to think of myself as a bit of a prankster. Dressed up or dressed down? When going out, I love dressing up. Unfortunately, I don't own a suit. I would love to just go out in a suit and look really dapper and all that, but I don't own one. But if I had the choice to be smart or casual, I'd want to be smart, unless I was playing sport or something. Favourite article of clothing? That is a very good question. I would probably say my new blue shorts. They're in the wash right now, but I really like them. <laughs> if you could play any instrument, what would you play? I would love to play the piano extremely well. How cool would that be to just see a piano and play the piano. East Coast or West Coast? So if you haven't guessed by now, this is an American quiz, but I can still answer the questions. I would say West Coast because although East Coast has Boston and New York and Washington DC, I don't know, I just like the idea of LA and San Francisco a little bit more. Although I would love to go to New York. London or LA? I would definitely say LA because I just loved everything about America when I went a few years ago and I've been to London quite a few times, so yeah, LA. Favourite holiday? As this is an American quiz, I think that means like public holiday, like Christmas or something like that not like the holiday that I've been on. So I would probably say Christmas. How big is your bed? I'm sat on it. It's a small single bed, so yeah, just enough room for me and Smart Ted here to uh, cuddle up. <laughs> do you sleep with your doors open or closed? Definitely closed. Unless it's really hot, I will go open, but I do like to have my door closed. Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or tucked out? Tucked out, definitely. Tucked in, I feel so trapped. I want my feet to be flying free, really. And my feet do go out the end of the bed because I'm quite a tall person. Have you ever stolen anything? I did steal someone's Pokemon card at first school. 
Yeah. And I think I might have also stolen one of those like pick and mix sweets from a shop, but that doesn't count. Tattoos or piercings? That's actually quite a hard question. Tattoos, if it's like all over, I would definitely choose piercings, but like a little meaningful tattoo, I would not disagree with. I would probably quite like one. Do you smile in every photo? No. <laughs> in fact, I don't know anyone who does. Have you ever peed in the woods? Yes, I have. What boy hasn't? Concert or theme park? Definitely theme park. Concerts sound really cool, but a theme park is just so much better. Music or books? Music. Animated or reality? Oh, that's a good question. I do really enjoy animated. A few years ago, animated films were the only thing I could find humour in, but recently I've been watching more funny reality films, so I'm not sure. Letter or email? I love writing letters and receiving letters, but email is so much quicker and easier. So I do like writing and receiving letters. Emails are just a lot more convenient nowadays. What was your first concert? I've never been to a proper concert, so I guess my sister's school concert. Do you own a record player? I think we do. Maybe? Downstairs? No, that might be an old radio. I'm not actually sure. Do you speak any different languages? I got an A star in my GCC French last year, but it's been a year, so I've forgotten most of it. Sweet or savoury? I kind of like to mix the two, like Ritz biscuits and chocolate spread. Mmm, that's good. But no, I like both. Can you curl your tongue? No. No, I can't. Can you touch the tip of your tongue with your nose? <sighs> no. <laughs> I bet someone screenshotted that. Can you whistle? I think so. A little bit. Kind of. I can't whistle any tune, I can just kind of make the sound. Have you ever won a spelling bee? I've never actually been in one, so I can't answer that. Do you believe in ghosts? I'm really not sure. There seems to be some kind of evidence, but no conclusive evidence, so I'm gonna go with no. Do you believe in aliens? Certainly more so than I do believe in ghosts, but I'm not actually sure. I'm sure there is other forms of life out there, but maybe not in the alien form that we've made up. And that is it for all those questions, so if you did enjoy the video, then please give it a thumbs up, that would be really awesome. And comment down below if you are excited for this channel. I am super excited and I'm really proud of how it started because I made it myself and I did all the work to get all the people together and now everyone else has helped me out so much and you're all incredible. Everyone else in the channel, you've done so much work and I love you all. And yeah, it's really humbling so thank you very much. And Life of Five, we will see you tomorrow with another video. My main channel and social media links are in the description. Please go hit me up and I will see you next week. Bye guys!